that's the plant beer. Yeah. I can make like eggplant parmesan with it. Maybe I'll get So I'm here in the squeak. And they're squeaky clean. Hmm. Have to get that off of there. Now, some people like to keep the skin on. They say that food is more nutritious if you keep the skin on. But my husband, Joe, doesn't like the skin on. So we're going to take the pan, take the skin off. And now I'm gonna slice it. Some recipes call for a quarter slice. You can slice it any way you like. Joe and I like one-eighth, about one-eighth, which is very thin. And the last slice is gonna be a little bit thicker. One of the secrets to making good eggplant parmesan is to salt the slices to get the moisture out. So you just put a little salt on all of them. You leave them for about half an hour and then you come back to blot the moisture off. What I'll do is start the breading process. And what I do is I use flour, whole wheat breadcrumbs, although you can use any kind that you like, and eggs and milk. So I'm using three eggs. Stir it up. And then I'll add milk. Now, what I say is, Flour, eggs, breadcrumb, F-E-B. And that reminds me always, Feb. I'm Feb. F-E-B. And that's the order. Okay, so I'm finished with that. I take the flour and I put it in the bag. And the breadcrumbs, I also put in the bag. And that's the process. Okay, it's time to blot the excess moisture off of the eggplant. You just use a regular white paper towel and begin the process. You can see here, even where it's left off, all the excess moisture that comes away. So what I'm gonna do is flour, eggs and milk, breadcrumbs, F-E-B. Take one eggplant, saturate it in flour, and I'll put it in the egg and milk mixture. I'll let this drop off. And then I'll put it in the breadcrumb. Remember when I told you about slicing it thin? This is why. Because it makes a really nice patty afterward. Okay, that's our first patty. I'll put it on six for now. Oil. And I'll let it get hot. oil's been on for a while, I'll test it, see if it's hot enough. Oh, 
That's fine. And then I'll start to fry. And then because you have to bake it, you just want it to brown on both sides. Start off with some tomato sauce or gravy, depending. That's what the Italians call it, gravy. And then a little mozzarella. And then I'll begin the layering of the egg. like we're coming to the end. Can't put any more of anything in here. Okay. Put some mono in here. Spread it around. Oven looks like it's hot enough. Ooh, it's hot. And now we'll wait a little bit, half an hour or so, till it gets bubbly, and then we'll take it out. Thank <laughs> you. 